Here we go, guys. Our first time ever testing out Lego Tense Gritty. Oh. Boom! There we go, guys. That was the cringy intro. I hope you enjoyed that. Today, we're going to be talking about Lego Tense Gritty. So, I've been logging into Instagram a lot lately, and every single time I log in, I see these crazy Lego creations of, like, floating Lego. I didn't know if this was, like, some sorcery crap, so I did some research, and apparently it's actually, like, a physics, uh, it's a physics kind of thing that involves, like, gravity and central force and, like, mass and weight and, like, you know, other physics stuff like that. Wow, Ty, you are such a smart guy. But anyway, a lot of you guys wanted me to make this video, but today we're gonna be taking a look at Lego Tense Gritty. I'm gonna break this video down into two sections. First, I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own Lego Tense Gritty structure, and then I'm gonna show you a little example of my own that I've made. So anyway, let's dive right into this video. There's three fundamental pieces you're gonna need to make a Tense Gritty structure. All the other pieces are up to you. You're gonna need two of these long chains and one of these short chains, or, if you wanna go the other route, you can use the string pieces. So starting off, usually I create like a wide base, usually eight studs in width, and I put two snot bricks on both ends. So to assure that this build doesn't fall over, you want to extend this base a little bit. So as you can see right here, we have our base layer. From there, you're going to build quite a few bricks high. So what I've done is I've taken seven one by two bricks and stacked them on top of each other. We're going to have a slight overhang on the very top so what I've done is make a little platform that hangs over by three studs and then connect a snot brick to the end with also a jumper plate. And that right there is the first section of the tense gritty structure. Now to make the second section, we're going to actually create the same dimensions of the base. Have the snot bricks in the same area, but instead of connecting your one by two brick pillar on this side, we're actually gonna connect it on the longer side. Instead of seven, I've done eight. And then finally, you're gonna do the same thing um, with our previous assembly which is just add this extra extension have it overhang by three studs and then connect some snot bricks and a jumper plate at the end so now what you're gonna do is take your first assembly and have it straight up on the ground and then you're gonna take your second section and you're gonna flip it upside down and this is kind of the tedious part because here we have to connect the chains so in terms of the longer chains they're gonna simply connect to the snot bricks which are facing outwards and then our small smaller chain is going to overhang from the first assembly down to the second assembly. Bada beam, bada boom. We have our Lego Tense Gritty structure. This is a basic model, as I said, so obviously yours is going to look different. This is just the science behind it, how to make one yourself. And then I get to introduce you to my own little Tense Gritty structure. This is Minecraft. I love Minecraft. So what I've done here, I created the end world. We have a obsidian pillar with the end crystal on the top and we have our end dragon he's so cute isn't he so cute I actually named him toothless because I think he looks adorable I love this guy unless you know in the actual game it's he's not so fun but that's just my opinion and for all the smart people out there always go to the end world with a pumpkin on your head so that the endermans can't kill you or if you're a hardcore person then simply don't wear it and then uh wait what why is there a chicken on the back what the frick oh yeah that's right that was a way for me to remind myself to say you guys are all special chickens you guys are really special chickens so there you go guys that was the video that was tense gritty right there you guys wanted me to make this video so i did it Oh, finally it's over. I can rest in peace now. So I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, keep on building.